because there are an estimated 1,000 people living in Minnesota who have dwarfism and only about 30,000 nationwide. And that's why you don't see very many on high school sports teams. But as David McCoy shows us, that's not what makes this athlete so exceptional. High school is that awkward time in everyone's life when you just want to fit in. But given her size, Svea McNally doesn't really have much of a choice. You guys stop it. Now I'm four foot five and three quarters, so I'm really good at hide and seek. That's a plus. Svea has dwarfism. Being overlooked, I would say, is one of the biggest challenges for me just because oh, I just see stares and whispers and that kind of stuff. Being a dwarf is a really hard thing because you're just you're living in an average height world built for average height people. But that doesn't stop the 17-year-old junior at Breck from playing on the JV hockey team. One of my favorite things to do actually is to, when there's a scrum on the boards, I like to just go under them and kind of and see if I can get the puck out, which is really fun. Proving wrong is like something that I really like to do, and I think that that makes living with dwarfism a lot easier. What? But hockey hasn't always been a source of inspiration. In a game last season, Svea was chasing after a loose puck that was headed toward the other team's goalie. The goalie got to it first, but apparently that little victory wasn't enough. Then she just said, like, you never had a chance of getting that puck, you weak midget. Um, and it was just really hurtful, and I kind of, then I just kind of called for a change because I just didn't really know what happened, and it just kind of shook me up. Midget's a very offensive word to little people. Um, it's basically kind of like the equivalent to the R word for those with disabilities or the N word for African Americans. Don't hit, don't hit. Once she said that, I realized that it wouldn't do very much just to give a little cuss word or hit back to her, and instead that I kind of needed to just educate people. I didn't really have a big following when I started. It took her nearly a year to be able to write about it, but in October, Svea started a blog. I like to get a post out like once a month. She shares her personal perspective about what it's like to live with dwarfism and relates experiences she has had, <laughs> including while playing hockey. Unfortunately, the goalie incident wasn't the first nor the last. I just talk about my experiences and how I kind of deal with them so that other little people and other people who are going through the same things of being doubted and overlooked can just understand that they can get through it. Nice. Skate, skate. I was just blown away by some of the posts and things that she's writing. That away, She's just so eloquent and uh, speaks her mind. She's very strong-willed and outspoken in such a cool way. I am a little angry inside, but I kind of now have learned to channel my anger into, because I don't really like being angry. <laughs> I'm not a person who really likes being angry or mad. I think getting my voice out there and standing out is something that will help others. Which it has, evidenced by a message she received from a reader. It was from a person who lives in Canada and their daughter, who's kind of five or six, I would say, um, plays hockey too. Um, and they were just asking me kind of advice and stuff, and I was, that was really, I almost cried happy tears because it just made me really happy that people are reading it. Which just goes to show, whether she's on the ice or online. I kind of want to have a little bit more of an identity with it. Never underestimate her. Focus! Or anyone because of the way they look. What do you hope people see when they watch you play hockey? I hope that they see a small weak girl in warm-ups but during the game see a person who is defying the standards of what it is to be a little person why fit in and you can stand out david mccoy wcco for sports Hmm. If you'd like to read Faye's blog for yourself, we've set up a link at WCCO.com. In addition to blogging, she's also begun public speaking on dwarfism, which I'm sure she'll do well at. And Maxie, we should watch for her in the spring yep. as well, because she also plays varsity softball for Breck. Ah, great story.